This is another trick on Illustrator where you can make something look like it's furry. So I'm just going to um, start with my shape tool and I'm going to create two circles. So I'm just going to start with my first one. Then I'm going to click on my gradient tool down the bottom here. And I want, so this pops up normally, my gradient. So then I can double click on this color here. I might make it orange. And I can double click on this color here. I might make that um, a red. Now that I'm happy with that, it shows me over here that it's actually in my um, stroke. So I'm just going to click on the bendy arrow to flip it. Just take a moment. There you go. So now it's filling inside my circle. I'm happy with my circle. I'm just going to press Control C to copy, Control V as well, bring it up about there. Then I'm going to select both of these here. And I'm going to go to Object, Blend, Make, and then it's blended together, these two. All right, now what I'm going to do, so I'm going to go to my um, paintbrush tool. I'm just going to, um, I'll just draw a flower. Okay. So I'm going to select both the flower and this um, oval shape over here. And I'm going to select both of them. So now there's a blue line across both. You can see that it's, um, yeah, selected the flower and the oval. Then I'm going to go to Object, Blend, Replace Spine. So now my flower has that same thickness that the oval had. Then I'm going to go to Effect, Distort and Transform. I'm going to Roughen. And I want my size to be 40%. Um, I want my detail to be 80. And I want my points to be smooth. And press OK. And there you go. I have a fluffy flower. You can do this for typography. Um, you can make this to create texture in your poster. And it also um, shows the tone and gradient, which is really nice.